Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. So it's that time again for the weekly Final Cut Pro 10 video tape. So in today's video I want to talk a little bit about keyframing, but instead of just doing a general overview of what keyframing was, I want to show you how you could use it with a particular effect. So as you can see here I've got an actual video of an angry bird and when we play this clip you'll see the angry bird's out of focus and it slowly comes into focus. So if you watch a lot of maybe product product reviews on YouTube, such as I do them on my channel for example, you'll notice a lot of people use DSLR cameras to video their products. And one of the things they'll do, because DSLRs have got that manual control, they'll actually have something in focus and they'll bring it out of focus, or they'll have it out of focus and bring it into focus, just to give their videos a little bit more style and give them that a little bit more artistic kind of um, feel to them makes them a little bit more interesting than just having a static product there just doing nothing. You kind of want to make your videos a little bit more interesting to look at. Obviously, if you haven't got a DSLR camera, you can't kind of control the manual focus in that way. So this is kind of a good cheat to do it, in my opinion. So we'll just watch it again so you get the idea. So as you see, it slowly comes into focus, just like the poor focus technique people use with a DSLR camera. So how do we do this? Um, pretty easy. We'll delete that and we'll start again. So grab your video, in this case it's actually an image I'm using but it can be a video. So as you can see it's just an image of an angry bird. So we set the video clip, we go to effects, we go down to blur and we grab the Gaussian blur and we drag and drop it into the timeline, into the clip. So now when we play this, it's basically just the angry bird blurred out. So now we want to go to the first frame here as you can see. Go up to the inspector, make sure you're on videos, or video sorry, go down to effect, go down to Gaussian, so find the Gaussian effect you just added, it may be closed if it is, just open it up so you can see all the controls, and choose how which amount of blur you want, so here we'll go for 100% blur on the first keyframe, and we need to make it a keyframe, so you click on this little add a keyframe um, diamond here, so we've made it into a keyframe. Then we choose point of the video we want the actual blur to disappear. So we go for two seconds and we go back up to the Gaussian blur. We make this a keyframe and we take the amount of blur down. So we'll go down to zero. So now when we play this, the Angry Birds out of focus and it slowly comes in focus. So it's that kind of poor focus technique or at least gives that um, impression of it. So now if you're not happy with the speed of it, it's quite easy to change this. All you have to do is go back up to your keyframes and go on to the second keyframe. So this was around about the second keyframe. So you just use these arrows here. It allows us to jump between the two keyframes. So we go to the second keyframe, which was this one. And we basically turn that keyframe off. We go back to the timeline and choose a different point of the video we want the keyframe to be. So we'll go for one second this time, like so. Make that the keyframe and bring the amount of blur down. So now when we play it this time, you'll notice the blur uh, or the pull focus is much quicker. As you can see there, it's twice as quick. And obviously if you wanted to make it longer, you would obviously choose further along the timeline for the second keyframe. So that was just a quick tip how to add pull focus to your videos just using Final Cut Pro 10, so no need to use any camera tricks here. It's just all done in the video editor. But more importantly, we've kind of talked a little bit about keyframing. I've showed you how to use it in this effect. So you might be able to understand keyframing a little bit more. I would say keyframing is one of the more difficult things when it comes to video editing to get your head around if you're new to it. So at least now you'll have a bit better idea of what keyframing is and how we can use it in effects. So obviously you don't just have to use it in the Gaussian effect. You can use it in without any of your effects really if you want the effect to slowly come in or slowly come out, etc. So thanks for watching this video, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.